So Crip, this is do you know Hearthstone? The reason why you're brought back so fast is because you embarrassed me in front of everyone. I mean, someone's got to do well, you know? I, 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 I don't I don't feel like I'm towering <laughs> over you as a pillar of knowledge here, you know? I just, I did my best. I've I've been told that you're ready to humble me back now. Is is that is that right? Yeah, so this time I actually looked, researched what was played in Arena during mm. most metas because I think the issue that I had was a lot of the time most people don't play Arena and you have this huge knowledge of the Arena play style, what cards were played. So I had to find this really weird niche middle ground of cards that were kind of played and constructed, but not really played in Arena. And this is what I came up with. Okay, well, you might fail too. I still did play constructed. I did like kind of like a once over on all the major decks and maybe overplayed some of the fatigue and combo decks. That's kind of my constructed experience over the years. Just a quick little recap. So this is do you know hard stuff. Anything mm -hmm. on a card can be changed. This includes the mana cost, the stats, the text, the emblem, the gem, potentially the art. Uh, for this one, because you did say it was okay, this one is from classic all the way to Savers of Oldham. I didn't go Descent of Dragons because I looked at when Battlegrounds was released. I don't think I played that. So it was like right before I think Descent of Dragons came out, Battlegrounds came out. So I didn't that include it. That sounds about right. So Crip, we're going to do a little fun section of this. I'm going to give you the artwork and you're going to have to tell me what card it is from. Oh, can I just go with a general description? I'm really bad with names. I picked cards that you would probably know. For this section, I wasn't okay. like, let me pick the most ridiculous card. I'll give you mm. two hints for each cards if you need it. Nah, this is this is babbling book. This is the Get Pavled card. Yeah, that is correct. This card is an auto include in any mage deck. Actually, this might be the most played mage card. It would have been Mana Worm if they didn't Ooh. nerf it, right? What about this card? Um, It's definitely a troll. I think it's pretty likely to be a card that, again, I know very well. This is like super staple arena card. It's the Amani Berserker. I'm going to go with Amani Berserker. It might be like some legendary troll. I don't remember, but I, I think it's the right colors for Amani Berserker. It is Amani Berserker. Okay. These are hard because the, the, the picture is not a lot going there, but as long as you're picking cards, I've played like thousands of times. I mean, I, I can probably get these. And this is your last one for this. Pants, huh? <laughs> I I don't know what this is. Give me two hits. It's from an adventure and it's a legendary. I actually was gonna say Reno, but it, it, he's like green. I don't know. I guess it could be Finley. Yeah, it is Finley. Wow, dude, nice. Well, no, I needed hints for that one. I was not getting that out of the blue. That was not happening. <laughs> I do not have like a list of cards that have pants on, in, on my <laughs> on my brain up here. But the the green set me off. I actually didn't think of Finley. But now that I look at it again, the little string is is like the monocle actually that wasn't that wasn't too bad now that i see it but it's yeah. you know the after the fact is is not doesn't count i guess <laughs> i tried really really hard to think of cards that were super niche for both of the times you play or both of the game modes that you played <sighs> let's okay. see what we got so uh, this is okay. this is the real or not real segment right that was only just a special segment is this a real card unlucky warlock when you discard a card this one is discarded instead i have zero recollection of a card like this oh wait it has the classic symbol no this is not a real card you you should have gone with a different symbol to send a dragons or something. This is not a real card. Absolutely not. Yeah, so you're right. This is a completely fake card. If you remember from last time, I gave you Unlucky Kriparian. Okay. Start everything like this. Question for you. Would this card see play in Classic? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Classic? I don't know. I think it would see some play throughout the different metas we've experienced if it was a Classic card, because Classic has been part of the core more or less throughout the last like eight years or something. Like when you play Warlock and you miss the one drop, you're screwed. This being a one drop, even though it's a bad one, it's fine. And then it has has like a pretty powerful effect later on to protect other cards. Yeah, I, th I think it would have it would have seen some play at some point over the the last few years. I think it's a, I think it's a decent card. I think you could have fooled me if you stuck a, a more recent label on that actually. So yeah, you, as you could tell that this wasn't actually a real card. What? What about this one? Celestial emissary. Two, two, one. Your next spell this turn has spell damage plus two. You have this in Boom's Day. I do believe this is a real card. Elemental. It was a mage. Yeah, I'd say this is a real card. So this is actually a fake card. The art is off. That's what uh, the real card looked like. That card you saw was the four mana four three that had spell damage uh, plus two. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Changing up the art with a different similar minion is definitely sneaky. You're going hardcore on me here. Now that I see the real version of Celestial Emissary, I think I barely played this card. I think I maybe played and constructed on some of like the combo situations, but that's that's really it. Like this card yeah. sucks, right? Like I'm not. Yeah, I don't remember it being played. This is a perfect example of a card that I researched to say this wouldn't be good enough in Arena, but it was also super niche and constructed. What about this card? <laughs> 
chewed. It's chewed. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it is not. This is like a meme terrible card. You can't go too mean. If you go in like Magma Rager territory, the cards are pretty well known because, you know, you laugh at them and they're memorable when you do. I don't know what this card was called, but it wasn't chewed. Uh, it was like Blightweed or something. It was called Biteweed. For Biteweed as well, the two words were attached. This is the way that they, I guess, they decided to name it. Oh, I see. I didn't think to call it Chewied. I thought to call it Chewed. And I'm like, there's, yeah. there's no way. There's no way, dude. Blizzard's not making a card called Chewed. Okay, maybe they are. I mean, who knows? You know. In hindsight, now that you said that out loud, I immediately thought to myself, you're going to say Chewied, but you said Chewed and it sounded so ridiculous. That's a no-go on that one. What about this card? Dead the arsenal, reveal a weapon from your deck, deal its attack to all minions. This was again pretty meme card. I think it is fake because you have the kobold symbol. I think this card was like a year after or maybe even two years after. I think this card is much more recent than the kobold expansion because kobold expansion was dungeon run and I played a ton of dungeon run and this would have actually been pretty good in dungeon run i don't know when this is released but it was like years after kobold expansion it was actually the very next expansion it came out in the witch oh. was Witchwood right after yes it was oh yeah because we got monster hunt right yeah why did i not play as in monster hunt oh because monster hunt didn't really had classes right they had like tests and stuff you would have wanted this in dungeon run and that's how you knew this card wasn't from <laughs> They had like some pretty crazy weapons in Dungeon Run. If I, like most of the treasure cards are from Dungeon Run and they're pretty fun to play. But my logic for this card was that all the weapons came out in Cobalt and Catacombs. And mm. I was like, this fits so perfectly into that set. I thought it came out way later. I guess that's really a testament to how little play this saw. What about this card? Cave Hydra. Something about it looks off. Well, yeah, I guess it's not a Battlegrounds card. This is like a card card, but Battlegrounds cards were based off of card cards. It's weird seeing a mana symbol on it. Jesus. God, I think he might be faking me out. I'm not sure if K-Hydra was a real card. The thing is, the original Battlegrounds release had almost entirely real cards, and I don't remember Cave Hydra being a fake one at the time, so it had to be a real one, but I actually don't remember it i don't know if it's a hunter card i don't know it makes sense that it costs three mana it's obviously a beast i have to say it's real but i i'm lukewarm on this one i feel like it's it's a decent likelihood it is a hunter card i just don't remember i'm gonna say it's real as it is it was a hunter card ah <sighs> Yeah, everything else about it is real. Don't yeah. know in Battlegrounds if the Cave Hydra is a hunter card. I actually have the, the cards. Oh my god, it's a hunter card in Battlegrounds. This is a shame, <laughs> shameful fail. My OCD was triggered, but it was triggered on everything else too. Like the formatting of the card, the fact that there's a mana cost and a rarity. Trigger overload, you got me. Imagine that. First Battleground card getting wrecked. What about this card? Death Revenant. Battle card game plus one plus one for each damaged friendly minion. No, I don't think it was that. I think it was all minions. I think I played this because it was like around the time where they killed off like frothing. So we tried to figure out other ways to play like the damaged dark type. I think everything else is fine though. I think it is a five mana three, three warrior card. I think it is all minions. I don't exactly know how it's worded. Uh, yeah, you're correct. It's uh, for all. Yeah, we gave this a go. I think it was a bit of a fail, but I think I think we gave this a go a few times. I probably played like three times as much warrior as any other class in regular play. Didn't know this card existed until this morning. <laughs> what about this card? Mm. Explore Angoro, replace your deck with copies of your chosen Choose Your Path. What is Choose Your Path? It was definitely um, Angoro. I mean, it says Angoro on the card. Of course it was. No, it was something else. I don't know what Choose Your Path is. This was not an ambiguous card. Choose Your Path is fake. So Choose Your Path is the card that basically turns all your cards in your deck into. But it says discover a card on this one. All right, more warrior cards. Bring them in. More warrior cards. Only warrior cards. All right, I'll give you the last one I have here. King Mosh. Destroy all damaged minions. Angoro. Legendary. 997 beast so that's fake it has to be a beast yeah you are correct it is a beast yep i did not know that almost 90 percent of the dragons and i'm not actually 100 sure if it's all of them but they are beasts in Angor. dragons I mean, sorry dra dinosaurs big dinosaurs uh, they went they went back to to redo some of them like they they missed some originally like even north sea kraken wasn't a beast i don't know if you know this but like i was like a bit upset about this when they made north sea kraken like i could literally go in in world of warcraft and hover my mouse over the damn thing and it would say beast and the other one was ice howl okay it was a beast 
when when the raid came out in World of Warcraft, and I I knew that, and it wasn't like an off the wall thing because that was my most crushing DPS record in World of Warcraft. I was playing Hunter, and Hunter was pretty good at that fight. I had a number of DPS records, but part of the reason why that one was such a large difference was because I played a troll hunter, and even though I was like hyper competitive, trolls were actually worse than orcs. But I insisted on playing trolls just because they're really cool. Trolls in World of Warcraft do 5% extra damage to beasts. So the fact that Ice Hell was a beast, and that I was a beast of a player at the time, meant that no one was touching that record. When, when they made some of these cards from these instances, I, I actually pestered the devs a lot. I'm like, what the hell? It's not that I I know for a fact that those are beasts and you don't have beasts on the card. It was like, you know, kind of important to me. But actually, they didn't change Ice Hell because a few months before I started complaining, they changed Ice Hell in the game. They made Ice Hell in World of Warcraft not a beast, like four years after I stopped playing World of Warcraft. So they went the other way on that one, but they did change North Sea Kraken. When these expansions were launched, I yeah, you're right. I'm sure I'm sure they missed a few. So we're, we're, done, we're done with that. All right, next, next, more warrior cards, more warrior cards. I'm all out. <laughs> Here's a random question for you, though, since you brought it up. If you didn't play World of Warcraft, do you think you would have played Hearthstone? Yeah, but I wouldn't have done it so enthusiastically. I mean, this is going to sound pretty weird to some people, but the first time I played Hearthstone, what really drew me in is that they nailed down the uh, voice lines and theming of World of Warcraft. Because World of Warcraft had become a game I wasn't too interested in anymore, but the Warcraft IP was so strong. So, like, first time I play Hearthstone, I play like the Tarn Warrior is like Earth Mother, watch over me, and I'm like, oh shit, that was that really, really hit the member berries. And yeah, I think I wouldn't have been that enthusiastic about playing Hearthstone if it wasn't a World World Warcraft themed, or if I had not played World of Warcraft. But I think I would have caught on just like not on the initial, you know, wave. What about? Cannon barrage. Deal three damage to a random enemy for each of your pirates. Yep. No, no, it was different. This wasn't useless if you didn't have a pirate. Yeah, something's off. The way you have it written, it does nothing if you don't have a pirate. That It doesn't do that. Okay, I don't know what it is, but it's not that. Yeah, you are correct. It deals three damage first and then repeats the effect for every pirate that you control. How is it worded? That sounds like a bit too much text. Deal three damage to a random enemy. Repeat for each of your pirates. Uh, okay, it's so it's worded. about the same amount of text. Okay, yeah, that was yeah. a bit tricky. Oh, God, I rogue cards, though. There better not be any more. Rogue's definitely my least played class in Hearthstone. What about this? Coral Tempest 8 for a 6-6 six, six elemental. Your elementals with Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. Mm, no. I think it's your minions with Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. This was, uh, this was a Battlegrounds card. I don't, I don't know if you messed that one up. Yeah, you are correct. It's all your minions. I actually just learned this morning that this was a BG card. I think this is actually a card in Constructed I have never, ever played. I think it is absolute garbage. One of the worst cards, and it's just, it's really hard to have a meme at 8 mana, too. Like, you can't, you can't even try to play meme 8 mana cards. It's also really hard to build your deck around. Like, it's almost impossible. Yeah. I don't know why they removed it from battlegrounds it was pretty short-lived but we did we did have this card in battlegrounds and it was mostly used with the with the, uh, the crackling cyclone but what about this card stampeding roar summon a random beast from your hand give it rush this is druid card you give me this false hope like i like you're all like yeah this looks correct and then you're like druid card combo druid card next yeah. to warrior combo druid is 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 my jam protect mall battle cry give your minions taunt three for two two no, there's no card that does this. There was a weapon like this. It just, like, when you drew it, it got, like, a random effect. This is maybe one of the random effects. There, There's a weapon that when you draw, it becomes another weapon or something. I think one of them gives you, like, 1-1s, one and the other one gives you, like, divine shields. I guess one gives you taunt. I think there's a fourth option, but I don't remember the fourth option. Okay, this is, like, a card of a card. Okay, I, I actually don't even know that. I think there's an option for, for a taunt. I think maybe this is a card of a card, but this is not a collectible card, I don't think. No. Yeah, so it's not a collectible card. Uh, you're right. It comes from unidentified mall. That's what it's called. And it is the same stats and everything. Now, this effect is actually real. It is one that you can get. It's not called protective mall. It's called sacred. Okay. I was going to see how much knowledge you actually have. Because I feel like this card would be playable in both. I don't know about this, uh, arena, this card. This card probably was played. I'm going to have to consult my lawyers and go for a ruling on this one. Because as far as I know, we were going with only collectible cards. So I called this fake based on its collectability standard. So I don't know. I'll see you in court. Okay. <laughs>
I will say for other people, what I have done is, for instance, there's no missions experimenter. He he draws a card and it transforms. If it's a minion, it transforms it into a chicken, right? That chicken yeah. is a token. I have tested people to see if they had, had the gem on the, the card or not. Jesus, that's doing people dirty, man. Holy crap. Is it doing people dirty? Because every generated card for the most, there's like a very few exceptions don't have a gem on it. Yeah, I don't know. You can, you can rank that as you may. I would, I would not have known the name of this is wrong. I wasn't even sure this was a real option but I, I i knew where it was from we don't actually do like a point system like this is just clearly for fun like okay. it's just to see oh, we'll, so we'll let we'll let your commentators rate this, me on that one then what about this card jumbo imp cost one less whenever a friendly demon dies well this is in your hand this is dalaran heist i think Sim is that the symbol for dalaran heist rise of shadows that's the one i mean yeah this is a giant all the giants are epic i'm quite sure this is a giant even though it doesn't say it's a giant i think it's an epic card yeah you're correct it's an epic oh my all the giants are epic, right? Every single one. I believe so, yes. I thought maybe Imp would be like, okay, it's not a giant. Maybe I can, I can get away with it. 8-8, eight, eight, Giga Mana. That's a giant. What about this one? Drink bot whenever a friendly mech dies. Game plus two plus two. I mean, not only did you pick a meme card, but you picked a meme card in Battlegrounds. I guess this is not a Battlegrounds card, so I have to basically guess if it was actually four mana. I have played this in Arena as well. It's just been a while. For sure, it's Gadget Sand. For sure, it's a mech. Definitely a 1-5. Definitely epic. It's definitely neutral. Does it cost more than four mana? Like, I have played it. I think if it cost five mana, I wouldn't play it. Gadget is pretty high power level. I'm like 80% sure that's four mana. There's no way it's three. Maybe it's five. I think it's four. I think it's a real card. We, we also got like a bajillion fake cards in a row. You got you to gotta give me a real one every now and then, right? Yeah, for sure, dude. But unfortunately, this is not real. It is five mana. Oh. <sighs> you said you played this in Arena. Did you draft it? Yeah, so when Gadsden came out, it, uh, at first it had like the occurrence bonus. So like every me every deck had like 10 mechs in it. Oh, okay. Basically play this, sack a couple mechs, and then it's a snowball card. It's actually pretty good, but I guess I misjudged the power level of that time. So yeah, if I play this at five mana, I guess the power level was a bit lower than I expected. In Constructed, it was just garbage, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, so in Arena, like I said, they had the occurrence boost on, on Gadgetan, but it, it wasn't just that. Gadgetan was just broken. Like you'd pick every Shredder. Like if you're playing Mage, which most of the time you were playing Mage, it's Arena. Every Snow Chugger, there's like the 3-3 three, three with one spell damage. That's actually a good card for that time so yeah if you're like 15 cards deep have 10 mechs and you see a junk bot just like yeah it's not bad what about this card okay are am i just like blindly saying it's real because we got like nine fakes in a row at this point there's just a folder of cards and i'm just actually just randomly picking them there's no sequence okay. it's just all random so you could okay. play the odds here and say it's a real card if you wanted to yes my rot spring battle cards covered if our minion also gain its death rattle. I mean, that sounds about right. Booms the expansion. This is about as obscure as it gets for me. Rogue Legendary. It's like, yeah. I think actually I may not have ever played this card, but I think I've had it played against me a few times. I would say that it looks pretty real and I'm also kind of playing the odds here, but uh, yeah, I'm not super experienced with this one. Yeah, it is a real card. I kept it real because it has a really weird sentence. Like it just says also gain its death rattle. It feels so awkward to read. Oh. They could have worded that differently right rogue legendaries really when like when you played arena up until maybe very recently where they started going super heavy on like discover you just didn't really encounter legendaries a lot of the time this would actually be pretty decent in arena though right Everybody yeah knows. what about this card ink master solia battle cry if your deck has no duplicates the next spell you cast cost zero the mana five five that's correct i did play this quite a bit i do not believe that this was a rolling effect. This fake. It's this turn only. Like the next spell you you cast this turn cost zero or something like that? The next spell you cast uh, cost zero for this turn only. My logic for this one was normally when you play Ink Master, you're playing the spell regardless. Summon two splitting roots. Which would eight mana four four death rattle. People use this with the seven mana three three that pulls a death rattle eight drop from your deck. So this this played both arena and construct. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know what the hell the tokens were called. If you got me on the tokens, that's good. I don't know what the hell they're called, so I don't know. I guess we're lacking real cards, so I will say this is real. It is not real. They're called splitting saplings, not splitting roots. Oh, I mean, okay. Yeah, I can. I did this one because I felt like this card would see it like a ton of play in Arena. Like, this seems like a very solid card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's super strong in Arena. It's just the uh, epic, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't encounter it very often. Yeah, fair enough. All right, this is your very last card. Hammer of... 
Twilight. This is actually a really good card. It was five. It was a four two. It's a shaman card that looks like a shaman color. It kind of looks a little discolored. That's a shaman color. Can I like verify this? Yes, yeah. It looks almost like roguish. It's like really dark blue. Again, I think this is a fake card because it wouldn't say a four two twilight. I don't know what a twilight is. I think you're overestimating like how many obscure things there were in the game. There's definitely some, but no. This is a card where you saw it and you know what it did. I don't know what the hell a twilight is. So yeah, it's fake. Yeah, so you're entirely right for the right reason too. It just said four two elemental. I mean, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, the logic behind it was that this card is literally called Hammer of Twilight. So I thought like uh, you okay. just translate one to one, but yeah, you were entirely right. And this is actually the card. It it looks pretty close, I think, right? For the color. I guess it does. I guess shaman weapons are a bit a bit strange looking to me. I think at the time they didn't have like the colored borders on weapons, right? Wasn't it just like a black card for the class? And then they had like in like near the text, it was like that's what described what class it was from. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the frames were added later. That's the end of this script. Thank you for doing it again. You did. Well, thank you. Okay, well, you know what? At least I made you think a little bit more. That's what I was going for. You definitely tripped me up. And I guess if you want to completely shame me next time, it'll just be like full on rogue legendaries where you change like three <laughs> pixels, right? I, I, I feel like that'd be so dirty if I said the artwork's three <laughs> pixels to the left. It'd be so mean. Literally don't think I could post that on YouTube without just getting destroyed. Um, <laughs> you hit me with, I think, three Battlegrounds cards and I got them. I got two of them wrong. Like, I actually suck at Battlegrounds. It's surprising. I think that the, the Battleground card kind of like overwrote my memory bank of what the card used to be. Yeah, I think the Battlegrounds ones were actually really smart in hindsight just because, yeah, you're so used to what they look like now. Like, it's it was really awkward looking at Cave Hydra even on the website. Like, even me, yeah. I don't play it nearly as often as you do. It just looks weird.